Good evening, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Monday, and uh, I get the chance to live stream with you guys today and the fantastic uh, uh, people at uh, Stray, Spa uh, Stray Fawn Studios have given me a copy of Wandering Village to try out. I think it'll suit our uh, genre and niche quite well, so welcome, everybody. Michael, with the first comment of the night, hello, hello. Hey, Sly, how's it going? Was that Windows noise? There's Windows noises going on all the time when I do stuffs. <laughs> I am uh, hoping it's all coming through nice and clear for you. No work today, Con <laughs> Yes! Mr. McLean's in the house. How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. We are going to be doing a giveaway for this fabulous game, courtesy of uh, the lovely people over at Stray Fun Studios. They both gave me a key, and they gave someone else a key as well. So, uh, that'll be uh, to be determined. So, excited. Good, good, good. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Maybe, maybe. So, welcome. <clears throat> Today, we're going to be going uh, with a uh, startup. I did play a game very briefly on this. I'm going to choose, like, the recommended for, I don't know, intermediate players. What should we call it? Solarian... Solaria Wanders? <laughs> Solarian Way. There we go. That's what we'll do. Um, customized difficulty. Villagers do not die. No manual saving allowed. And... Onbo does not. Do no, no, no. We must. We must have the challenges. <clears throat> it's gonna kill the big guy. No, 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 no. Excited, Mr. Michael. So here's how I'm hoping this uh, giveaway is gonna work. <clears throat> Sometime in the next, uh, later on in the stream, we're going to do. Uh, uh, and I'll, I'll try to remember to mention this again a few times. But let's adjust the volume here before I get any further, because that music is lovely, but it is very intense. There we go. That's actually still intense. Alright, there we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to do a giveaway based on uh comment section so it will i've got a, a thing a site that'll hopefully just randomly draw a name um <laughs> uh, I, i'm i'm thinking it'll just give us a name uh, pull a name for us uh out of the out of the hat for us basically it's the idea uh adapt adapt a level Let's, let's see what happens here. Homes by the toxic spores. We kept wandering, looking for shelter. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Look at the big fella. So, uh, wandering village is basically as it would indicate literally a wandering village we got uh, three vantage points here this is our our top down world view and then we have the unbu view so we're on the back of this unbu the world up here is randomly generated the map that we actually get to work on that's our whole livable space uh and this fine fellow lives on i was wandering around on the world map this world map is totally rando as well so there's various different things along the way like an an Anbu feeding spot and a sleeping spot where he's gonna have a yummy mushroomy dinner. He's a fan of mushrooms. And then uh, then he'll have a nap over here. He might have different naps at different times. So we have to take care of his poison levels, his food levels, which right now it's at 0%, so that's I'm not hungry at all. Um, and his poison at 0%, not, uh, not, not an issue at all. And uh, sleepiness is at 60%, so he starts out stationary. And then as we get going, he starts to move, uh, he gets up and he wanders down the roads. Later on, we'll get the ability to kind of, when there's crossroads, we can give him some indication as to where to go. We can also send out these little spots on the map will be spots we can send uh, expeditions out to just basically 
harvest some stuff and do some slight random events as we go. Primarily, it's a city builder, from what I understand. But the uh, um, the terrain on top here can be dramatically affected by the environment we're going through, both in the effect of you know going through toxic places, which is the meta of the world, um, and uh, um, we can do we can do things that are helpful to our people but harmful to the unbo. Um, yeah, basically, uh, harvesting some stuff's okay. Harvesting these things will hurt him. Harvesting little stones sitting on his back's not going to hurt him. Harvesting trees isn't going to hurt him. But uh, drilling down uh, into into his body is going to be terribly mean and ha harmful to him. Anyways, we got food to deal with. We got research that we get at the various different times. Uh, three different uh, tech trees, so to speak. So focused on the villagers. Resource gathering. Um, and extraction and production, and then the Anbo himself. So, um, George here is going to give us a wander, and uh, hopefully he'll take us to wonderful places. Water supply, stone, food, uh, or supplies are water, stone, food, and berries so far. We'll get a lot more than that as we go forward. We have uh, food of 100. I don't really know how much we, you know, we're going to need that. Uh, down at the bottom, we got a harvesting tool, so we can select this and say, here, pick up this stone. That's great. Puts a little cute little uh, um, balloon on the thing. You can zoom right in. It's like this funky little 2D graphics mixed with like a, I don't know, a semi 3D graphic stuff. And then the world as you go out is like, I, I just like it. I think it's it's really a unique feel to it. So, um, so um, it does look like a fun game, Connor. It, uh, I've only played a very little bit of it, so. So for those who you are watching, if you'd like a copy of the game, all you need to do is simply get in on the uh, the comment section. You just have to put a comment on this video. Um, and uh, hopefully I can uh, get it to properly draw a random name out of it. So it'll look at the YouTube uh, the comment section and it'll pull your name off the comment section. Not just viewing, but actually commenting is required. So. Multiple comments will not get you multiple entries, but uh, not commenting will guarantee you don't get a copy of the key. And we'll be given a, a key for this away, again, courtesy of the developers, so. Drake, we know it's rigid and Nightbot will win. The rigged and Nightbot will win. Nightbot won't win, it'll be that Drake Hawkins guy, because it pulls comments. <laughs> and he's always commenting. I do respond to all the comments, but this one won't have a comment of my, my name in it, probably. That'd be funny if I won it. And then had to redraw. So uh, we also have the priorities tool, so we can tell them, you know, pick up those ones first. That's cool. Uh, we have the ability to disassemble stuff. We also have our tech tree, again right here. Uh, the onbow section starts with horn blower, so we basically can give, start to get the ability to give commands to them. And then we got our construction tree down here with a variety of options: the village tab, roads and housing, uh, material storage stuff there then we have food supplies then we have raw resources refined resources like carpentry and stone cutting onbo food the mycologist i.e mushroom growers and uh onbo interact and well onbo interactions oh. talking with george um and then the poison stuff so the herbalist to help heal things and so on and then we got exploration for sending out expeditions into the wide world to gather stuff so let's get the uh, time rolling on this thank you again everybody for joining us hey new guy james welcome back man i mean welcome to the channel for the first time of course do not give him drake's disease do not starve him <laughs> We'll try not to. He likes mushrooms, so he eats different things than we do. Let's go ahead with this harvester and start maybe grabbing a bunch of this fun stuff right here without actually... I don't want to link one of those. That would be bad. Oh, not there. Uh, we're looking for ripe products to get going on. That sounds useful. Like that, not that. That's good. All right. Give them a bunch of things to start gathering and then we're going to uh, go ahead and give them some housing to get going with um i think we'll have a nice little a nice little double double down housing system oh i got a shift click for that eh three we do there four 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Good. That's that's lovely. How many people do we have? Uh, where does it show me that? Sixteen of them. I think each of these things are two houses, so we got enough housing planned for twenty people. Uh, we can do. Uh, that's is that saying we're yeah. Not enough resources available to do this thing. Working po worker posts and so on. Edge workers. These are specialists for transporting and harvesting and building. I'm gonna try to remember some of the things we're supposed to be doing. Uh, it's unlikely that I'll do a great job of that, so um, I'll be a bit. It'll be a bit of a blunder here, as I try to remember the tutorial. This one uh, doesn't have the tutorial because it's on on not beginner mode. Uh, we're gonna need a berry gatherer. Uh, so this, these dots around them are the area where they can be set up to to gather stuff. But the the berry gatherer actually, I don't know if they fully remove these berries when they harvest them. I think they might, so hold on a second. Uh, what is it? Alt? Yeah, alt to remove things from the list. I want to remove these berries. What? There you go. Temporarily remove the berries. Why is this not working? I have to, like, hit alt each uh, each time between them? I do. Oh, no, I see. It's, it's not a toggle. It's not a hold. It's a toggle. I gotcha. All right, figuring it out. There's no, there's no like rotate command here, so. <clears throat> All right, that seems. I think I got them. So we gotta find a, a little cluster of berries. I don't think we've got a very good cluster of berries at the moment, actually. Kind of lackluster, very lackluster. Oh, there we go. That's a substantial amount of berries. All right, let's put a berry gatherer over here then. Oh, it's almost too much for me to, for to gather from. Okay, maybe that's too more than we need. Hmm. Okay. How about over here? Not a lot of them. Looking at there should be a percentage efficiency, right? Yeah, thirteen percent efficiency. Thirty-one percent. Yikes. Eighteen. Twenty-seven. These are not good numbers. Not good at all, lads. There you go, 58%. That's better. 49, 49, 58, 58, 54. We could do one there and one there. I don't know if they overlapped. Curious. 45 wouldn't get those, those ones, but up here would. Okay. Let's do that. Let this and make it a priority build. It's gonna be a little bit of ways away, so that's okay. Uh, what else are we gonna need to do? Well, we're gonna have to have um, a farm for some other foodstuffs. It has to be on top of the green growing space. So, oh, was he getting? Was he waking up there? No, no, he's not. He's getting. He's getting. Having a nice snooze right now. <clears throat> Do not harvest the berries. You want the berry gatherer sort of thing. Yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> you uh, you can remove the big stump. The big stump here is actually um, harvestable. Kind of a gather spot. Uh, so I don't want to overlap that for the farm. Let's bring a farm down here. That seems like a nice choice. Uh, and I'll bring a dirt path up like this. And then up this way. Good. I like that. Tents are way the heck over there, but that's... It is what it is. I'm not sure that, that how that's going to matter, but maybe it will. Um, let's say we had another gathering spot in here at some point. Okay. Just kind of guessing my way through this. Of course. We'll... we'll Bumble and blunder our way through and see what see what comes of it. It's probably a silly place to put those tents. They're going to be wandering forever. It's already already making nothing priority. We're making everything priority. Not at all. I made no such thing. I made one building a priority. <laughs> one. I did give an example of what the priority button does, but... Uh... And you can move it and put berries. Berry hut in the. Oh. Yeah, we could, couldn't we? Well, I, I don't know if I want to remove it right now. Maybe if we do get it chomped up, 
That'd be something to do. There is a speed control right up here. So we got the pause, we got the 1x speed, and we got the 2x and the 4x. There we go. Berry gatherer is ready. Let's go ahead and put in a uh, food storage. A pantry seems reasonable there. Uh, we'll put that right here, maybe? Yeah. No, you know what? I'm going to put it over, like, here. Maybe even two of those. Probably a good idea. Uh, we're going to want water tanks as well um, to have water supply. Don't really know how to lay any of this out, to be honest, at this point. I have zero reference point, so we'll work on it. Uh, food, uh, where's our water? Well, air wells. Excellent. Okay, let's put a couple of those in. Do two of those, maybe. I don't know. I'm winging it. Oh, uh, choose your next research. Okay, Hornblower Kitchen. Uh, we're going to make... Let's go kitchen. I do like the idea of putting that in the middle, but uh, well, I could have actually probably pulled these two out and moved this in here. Getting, well, that wouldn't give us any more. That would only give these two, so yeah. I don't know. There's our research facility going. Now we can assign less or more people to that. We only have 16 uh, labor right now. And there, oh, look at our scientist. He's so smart. He's got a big white coat on. <laughs> I love them. They're adorable. Look at these creatures. They're amazing. Uh, so bear... Did I wait? Wait. That's not supposed to be a berry gatherer. Go away, berry. Non-proper thing. That's supposed to be a farmer. There we go. Did I do that right? Ah, better, better, better. Okay, good. Uh, water tanks for storage. I don't know how many we need, but let's try two. Yeah, kitchen stretch the food a bit. Yeah, you basically take, you know, X number of berries, maybe three or four berries, and turn them into four or five, whatever. That's a an improvement. I think uh, Unbo's uh, George here is getting ready to wake up soon. I hope he doesn't roll in his sleep. Here. Good point. Good point, dead meat. Ah, the food makes people happier. That's good to know. Excellent. We have a materials storage option. Um, yeah. I don't know what kind of materials we need to store, but you know what I can do? That... And does it shift to build more? I don't know. That and that sounds fine. I don't know if having the tents way up there is a smart idea or a bad idea. I don't know. Food details. So we consumed 33 and produced 11. Okay. Well, that's just a berry gather. Well, we can have a third berry gather for now. I like the little little icon. This is somebody's on their way in to work there. That's kind of cool. Uh, so working post is for turning your laborers. We can see them over here with the employed five, unemployed 11. So the working post actually employs people. Actually, I'm going to move, I'm going to delete these because that seems like a fine spot to work, put a work post right there. And then we can put those storage um, here and here. Sure. That sounds nice. They're building the roads. Uh, so this is going to basically use to manage workers, making them specialize as transporters, harvesters, or builders. Workers in this building get a small movement speed bonus. So even if they're doing general tasks, which you can set it to, to do basically everything, they still uh, are going to be better doing that than doing them... Uh, than being told that they can just do it by not being attached to a, a spot, so... An unassigned worker is... Oh, hello, Unbo. Look at him. He's amazing. <laughs> He'll use a big uh, mountain as a back scratcher. His back is a mountain. This dude's huge. <laughs> Having things close helps as they travel all over. Hard to figure it all out. Yeah, it's a little bit... Uh, all over the place-ish, isn't it? Well, oh, come on, devices. There we go. I 
One of his horns is busted, yeah. <laughs> Biggest boy. This is the map, and uh, so the map moves as we go. One of the things I want to do very early on is try to get research for the exploration. Let's see where that would be. I don't know how we do that. I forget already. Oh, a scavenger hunt. Hut. If I hold shift and click there. There we go. It's prioritized as the next step. Good. I don't know if it automatically will go into that spot or, or what, but... I'm just going to gather all of the loose stone. I don't know that it's going to make them too busy for anything at this point. Seem to be a, quite a few people standing around. And I imagine I'll very rapidly get to the point where people are working too much in, in like, st static jobs. Let's see. We have our f the other farmer. What do we got? We got a carpenter and a stone cutter. Um, okay. We, have, we don't have a kitchen yet. Got a working post being made, eventually. There's our first pantry for our food storage. The berries are getting stuck in there. There's our water storage. Let's go ahead and prioritize one of these so we can start getting some water, because we are going to run out. Yeah, there is a lot of wandering around to do. There's a lot of gathering to do, so... Isn't it, John? You're not wrong. Welcome to the chat, too, by the way. Yeah. Everything is like, seems like, it just feels right. The scale and the, the symmetry. Although, I mean, I wouldn't want to live on a place that was that. Look at every time it shakes when he steps, it's awesome. Now this is just like a little icon sliding on the board and then the, the world edges kind of mesh. If this mine over here, for instance, if we had an expedition, we could send them there, but it'll get out of range by the time the people got there. So you gotta kind of play that well, oh, really? We're gonna move into a cold snap space immediately? This is not cool. Have a nap, dude. So he already had his food, which is great. I don't know if he actually stopped, but we're... Yikes, okay. There's not even a... Not even a crossroads yet. We're gonna get into a cold snap. I'd like to have the command... Whatever it's called, the horn thing online by that point, so maybe we'll build another one of these. In fact, I know we will. Let's go to wherever the heck we had that. Let's build another works, uh, uh, blah, 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 research building. Eventually. But first off, maybe this. Oh, wait a second. It is missing something. Not enough resources available. Wood? Oh. Oh, I see. I'm, I'm severely hampering my productivity. Uh, okay, hold on. There's a command there. I'm not noticing. Ah, I see. Okay. Harvest only fully grown crops. Harvest all. Oh, oh okay. Okay. So harvest crops, harvest trees, harvest stone. Only fully grown. If I do that and then I look to a tree, I thought I saw some trees that weren't full size. Is that still true or do they... Maybe not. All right, let's... Oh, right there, yeah. So if I collect, select a bunch of these, it won't select that little one. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's get chopping down every bit of tree over here. I don't know if that affects the overall, like, regrowth or if I have to properly manage the volume of trees and stuff. I don't know. If I'm watching these flags, forgetting that these flags are him warning us. Again, Derek, do not cut... Mother trees. What are you talking about? Don't cut mother trees. This means nothing to me. What is mother tree? The giant trunk. Fully grown tree, ready to harvest and gain wood. Oh, 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 large mother tree. Still growing mother tree can, that can already be harvested but doesn't produce offspring yet. Oh. Oh, look at that. I just thought they were fall-looking colors. Thank you. No indication that that's a thing. I don't know where that would... Where that knowledge would naturally come from in the development thing of the game, but that's cool. Good call. Thank you very much. So those spawn more forest around them? Is that the indication? Is that what I'm here understanding there? 
Growth 8%. Okay. See, if I leave this, but gather the stuff around it. Let's do that. Let's go to a tree and say, just gather these ones in around here and leave a little, like, empty space and see if that kind of refills itself. The orange-yellow ones uh, needed for the regrowth and other trees. When I clicked on them, it told me. It only, only told me after I clicked on it and, it said, and read that there was such a thing as a mother tree. There's no other indication that that's different, and that's just the color of a fall tree, so... That's why. It's not particularly hungry. Are we getting into an actual cold location? Is the temperature dropping? Yeah, we're in cold zone. This entire thing is cold. Well, this is a horrible start. <laughs> this is a terrible start. Oh, save us. Save us, George. Run, man. Keep running. Don't get tired. If he gets tired and falls asleep in there, we could have some problems. It only goes down from here. <laughs> Boats having near exclusive spikes and armor on the back that implies the terrifying existence of larger predators. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> Good point, Mark. Um, Michael. <laughs> it's like got all these spikes and everything, which yeah is definitely an adaptation in in actual animals to. Defending. Mind you, this thing is supposed to be like eons old, and they just live for basically, you know, millennia or ages of, of uh, the little people's lives. So they're lost in in a great past. We're still blowing through our food, but that's because we're tree short. Oh, I see. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the priority tool, and we're going to prioritize a bunch of this. Did that work? Yes. So tell them to switch from doing the other gathering stuff to... There we go. All of them shifting over there. Okay. Getting a hang of what we're supposed to do here. Oh, boy. Cold weather. Temporary temperature dis decrease. Might affect the growth of your crops. Hi. How are you doing, little one? Can you say hi to the, the, the YouTubes? Hi. I don't have the camera on tonight. Is it on there? I don't have it on. Mm. Say, say hi. Hey. Can you guys hear her? Say hi. I'm here. Yay, 10 subscribers. Yay, 10,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah. Hi. That's awesome, everybody. I'm going to slow the movements down here. <laughs> Hello, little one. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> oh, and lots of little kitty cats from Connor. <laughs> Say hi, Mr. Connor. Hi, Mr. Connor. <laughs> Can you say your line? Hi, Connor videos. <laughs> no. I tried. You what? Yeah, you can say it. I'm my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching the little people walk around. Look at these little guys. Hello. Look at this guy. He's building something. The wrong something. Oh, there's our first water tower. Look. It's going to gather water out of the air and drip it down here into the buckets. Isn't that cool, little guys? Little graphics. They're like little two dimensional stencil people walking around. <laughs> Child labor day. Oh, oh there's there. different people. Yeah, there's lots of this guy's carrying. What's he doing? These are the berry farmers. Look. He's all, he says, this guy's going to go up. Where's my berries? Looks like he's picking grass. That's not berries. Maybe he's just weeding the berry plant. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know what's really cool? These cute little people are living in a town. Let's zoom out. You ready? Whoosh. Oh, this is the new game, I love it! <laughs> yeah, this is the new game. Well, why is it so actually so slow? Well, he's not really slow. If this, if he's stepping from here, yeah. look, from here, he steps and he puts his foot down here, 
Let's see how far that is. There to there. That's a pretty big step considering that's all the way from here, all the way to here for little people. They would have to run from this edge and go all over to here. So they're moving, moving pretty quick comparatively. We're going through a very cold place here. This is the world map where you zoom all the way out. And then this is the guy. We call him George, but he's actually an un Anbu. An Anbu. I think it's called Anbu. Anbu. <laughs> He's an Anbu, and he's a big giant dinosaur with a mountain on his back. With little people. <laughs> little people living there. Oh, hello. So with the horn blower, that'll give us the ability to send messages. We can put a horn blower here and go, burr, 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 go this way. And we can give him map instructions. Tell him, uh. hey, when you go to this road, go this way instead of this way. Or whatever we wanted. Ooh, that looks like dirty over there. Maybe it's nice grassy. I'm not sure. Zoom in on the people. This is their little tent. Oh, I like them. You like them? Oh, I want to. I have to. There's and ten people! There's oh. ten tents and two people in each tent. What's ten plus ten? Twenty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It shows his heart rate too. To, oh yeah, three BPM. Yeah, don't want him to over over exert himself. He's a little bit hungry. He's getting pretty tired. Well, not really. Not as tired as a little girl who should be in bed right now. I'm not tired. You're not tired. Little balloons. That's a good question. The little balloons are messages saying. Hey, workers, come over and pick up these stones, will ya? That's how they indicate what they need to do next. And they leave little flags, and this flag over here is a message to me, from them back to me, saying, Hey, we don't have enough of this stuff we need. The stuff we need, I need to get for... Whoa, that was too far. I need to get for them. Hmm? Yeah. Um, an onbu. Big giant dinosaur we're, we're walking around on. And the little berries growing on, on the fields on his back. And trees growing in the fields on his back. Pretty cool, eh? Well, do you guys are back? The Onbo evacuated his bowels. You know what that means? <laughs> he just pooped. Where? Well, I don't know. See if we can see a big giant poop left behind. I don't think so. We missed it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see it. Must have been pretty big and stinky if he's that big, though. Bigger than your little brothers? Yeah, I'm probably not as stinky, though, right? <laughs> Ooh, the lovely coloration. Ooh, the pantry's built. He's just about getting to the crossroads. I don't think we'll get the research done yet. No, we're not going to be able to tell him which way to go. Let's see. Where do you think he's going to go? This way or this way? Think he'll go down to visit these little people? Or do you think he'll go up here... Where there's a sleeping spot for him and a food spot for him. This one is to find new new friends to ride on his back. Find new friends. You want him to go that way? Yeah. Find new friends? That yeah. sounds great. Hope he's going that way. <laughs> You're right, Michael. Well, not the fields, the frosty uh, abyss that he's fertilizing. Well, let's see which way he's, do you, th you think he's going to go this way? Who oh, thinks he's going to go this way? Let's watch. Well, let's go here. And see if we can see him turn corners when he gets there. Anything else you guys are doing down here? Oh, you got the supplies oh, stored. I see one. This is carrying logs see, over oh, there. I, yeah, I see? see one picking grass again. Yeah. Oh, is he picking the grass? He's <laughs> eating the berries. Let's see if he makes his turn. Where's his path? Not quite yet. <laughs> it's now 10 o'clock, day six. Time passes pretty decently. The temperature in this entire biome is pretty. Pretty cold. Steg in the house. Hello, Steg. Welcome. Good morning. I'm going to use that moment of reminder to remember or remind you all that uh, if you're wanting to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is get in the comment section. That's it. <gasps> and I'll pick somebody at the end of the stream. Next time you do it, he's going to turn on He's going to turn pretty cool, pretty soon. He, that's his little, uh, that's like a little, ch uh, little chess piece or a little game board piece. Yeah. You're playing a little board game. You have a little onbo. I want to get a little onbo 
board game piece. Next time we play Monopoly, we can use that. Look at these are our big water tanks. They got nice little pretty signs on them. That would be what you would do, right? You'd decorate them yeah. with pretty pictures. Let's see if he's turning corners. I don't see him turning yet. Oh, he's just about there. Oh, I think he's going straight. I don't know. He's just about there. Let's see if he comes to an actual crossroads, if we can see it. I don't know if we'll see it in this stage. Are we enjoying it? So far, so good. The little Hannah's sure enjoying it. Oh, he went that way. He turned. Oh, I, was thinking to go get more I thought he was going to go get more people. But he's like, no, I'm going to go get myself something to eat. I can smell the mushrooms. Maybe, he, maybe he might go that way. Mm -hmm. And how is that going to Oh, gonna there's end? something over here. Oh, there's some little people over there. There's no map there. Yeah, well, that means he's not going to turn. Yes, yeah, well, no, did. he's already turned. So he's going to go this way. He'll find food. And he'll find uh, a, a place. This is a place for him to have a nap. This is a place for him to eat. This is a place for him to, us to get more friends to work on his back. Yay! Yay! Oh, where's those people going? Probably up oh. to their houses, maybe. Let's see. I watched him going oh, to look, their Oh, look, we can see the little dot to tell where he's going. He's going over to gather this tree. Well, that's cool. Oh, that one. Where's that guy going? Where is he? <laughs> over to that tree. Oh, okay. Where's that guy going? Oh. Mm, he picked up a log, and he's going... Down to oh, he's going all the way down to here to set up, help set up the farm. Yeah. Nice. Yay. The food stocks are pretty darn low, so I hope he hurries. <laughs> Let's see how much. We're the running out of food. Let's see how much the dinosaur. How far he's gone? Yeah. Okay, he's probably just gonna stop right there. Yeah. That's his sleepy spot. He's gonna sit in the cold, but he's like, I don't mind cold. I lived under the ground for a thousands of years. Why? Oh. Can you have a ground on him? That's it's cool. I want to see what the people are more what the people are doing. What the little people are doing? Look okay. at what's this God. That's that's stuff that we've gathered. That's water, that's stone, wood, and that's berries. Have, oh we boy. Have we're, more we're water. I think we have more more water than, yeah. than all that all that, all that food. We're running out of food. We need to get more food. So then, they're like maybe all of them to get some berries. Yeah. Well, there's already workers. Three workers. That's the most we can have working in this space. Some berries. We could make another berry gatherer. But I don't know if we're going to do that. Let's see. Can we get another berry gatherer that would be productive? I think right there is the best. Over here, here. That's not very good. He, oh, he, this, he's got to have these berry bushes nearby. Mhm. Mm over here might be good. What about over here? Thirty-six percent, forty-five percent, forty-nine percent, thirty-six, forty-five. Well, that's pretty good. Thirty-one. Uh oh, what's going on? Fresh air. Ah. Fresh oh. air, free of any toxins. Uh oh, there he goes. You gotta get to bed here, Missy, but oh. look, he's gonna lay down and have a nap. Isn't it? Oh, Whoa, careful. Everybody hold on to your pots and pans. Hmm. I wanna watch him after he's done now. Oh, he's scratching his toes. Look at the big yawn. <laughs> What is he looking at? Good oh. night, little Hannah. I'm going to sleep. No, it may wake up. Not for a while. But you have in to get game? to sleep. In the game? Yeah, not for a while in the game. You gotta get to sleep, so say good night, good night to everybody. Is the, game. is the game done? No, I'm gonna keep streaming this game. <laughs> oh. I love you. I'm staying here. No, you can't stay here. You gotta Tomorrow, go. we're gonna play this game together. Oh, really? Come All right. right. We'll definitely play it again. <laughs> Too loud, yeah. too energetic, <laughs> and you're yelling. Don't yell with the microphone, okay? That's not what microphones are for. Are you gonna start a YouTube channel? Yes, I Are you gonna do right. videos about your cup, about stacking cups and, and and doing Barbies and and playing video games? Is that what you said you wanted to do? Yes. Yeah? I'll take it. 
You want to make a little village? You should check on the little village. We'll check on the village another time. Say goodnight. What are you going to say on your channel? Do you know? Do you remember? I probably... No. Um, no way. Is that oh. what you're gonna say? It's okay. You can you can talk about it another time. Say hey, good night. Hey, good night to everybody on the YouTube. Welcome to welcome to as these cups. As these cups video. <laughs> we'll explain those later. All right. Good night, little one. Good night, sweetie. Oh, it shows that mm. on my phone. Yeah, it shows that on my phone too. Yes. Good night, little one. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Little cute creatures. If she does, uh, she'll get 10k <laughs> subscribers in a week. <laughs> no, I won't. No. Good night, Hannah. Facts. Good night. <laughs> okay, off you go. Good night, dragon. <laughs> Good night, dragon. On boo. Good night. Hope you wake up soon. Thanks for the wine. <laughs> yeah, he'll sleep for now. Good night. Close the door and you go. Oops. Oh, oh, that would be bad. Okay, out you go, honey. Oh, oh, I oh, want you. Night. Okay, good night, sweetie. <laughs> well, there we go. I'm back. Is anybody still here? <laughs> All right, so our Unbo is sleeping. Uh, we're still sitting in the cold. A little unfortunate. I'm not sure exactly what that does, other than it probably wrecks our ability to produce plants. That's okay, they haven't gotten the bar. Oh, they did get the farm finished now. Good. So we can add plots here for them to farm in. We could do, you know, like that and this, for instance. And uh, let's assign all the workers that we can see how that pans out. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, I'm looking for the Hannah Drake channel. Not not something meant, made yet. She's actually constantly coming up with ideas of that she wants to do for videos. So I think we'll have to get her started making some, uh, some videos. The cups thing she was talking about. Um... She decided, she found out that if you, uh, at her, uh, um, this kid's event, she went and had, they had, like, a bunch of these red solo cups, you know, the ones you, you use at a kegger, um, and they, they had a bunch of those, and they just stacked the, the kids were using them as, like, stacking pyramids and stuff. Oh my goodness, she loved it. And so I was at the superstore shopping the next day, and I grabbed, uh, Um, I grabbed a package of them, like, I don't know, 50 of them or whatever. Oh my goodness, like, four days of her and her little brother just playing for hours with those things. Stack them up, stack them up, and knock them over. And she's got all these stuff, so she said, I'm going to make videos for it. So, <laughs> really adorable. Uh, so we have, uh, an overview, we have total housing of 20 available. Um, we don't have better housing yet. We'll be able to get that research-wise here shortly. Um, I do think we should put in another berry spot. I'm not sure how much how much population capacity we're going to have here, but let's see. If we put in another one of these right next to it, would they overlap? Like, can they utilize the same berries? Ooh, 71%. Seriously? I can't harvest this, though, can I? I don't think so. I think I need, like, a... Yeah, I need a specific building to do that. Ah, Cactus Plantation of the Village Doctor. I think we're going for the scavenger hunt. Did we... Oh, we did we get that scavenger hut? Researched already. Excellent. Okay, the hut is the new building improvement. We'll go with that one. Right now, our little... Sh our little, you know, tents house, uh... Two people apiece. This one would house um, six. Oh, but we need bricks and planks for that, huh? Okay, the sawmill. Ah, reduces wood mining giant trunks on the unbow's back. That's the one that gives us the uh, 
uh, spot to gather the big trunk that's nearby. Sleep command, and bow doctor, and bow kitchen. Okay, we could tell him to go to sleep. Now, this has a little icon with it. It says, not enough knowledge. Require one knowledge to research that. We need the scavenger hunt to get out there and start uh, scavenging things. Um, I think we'll need the village doctor next. It's probably the next good call for us. The cactus plantation is if we move into a, uh, a spot that's got really bad fertility, the hu humidity very low, then our water gatherers would be terrible and uh, we wouldn't produce much food. Doctor's very important, Sly says. Yep, yep. Yeah, she hasn't done a lot of the practicing of the drumming, uh, but she definitely wants to drum, so it would definitely end up being a strange variety of things. But that would probably be the most honest thing you could get from a from a little kid. Hyper... <laughs> uh, variety everywhere. How's our storage looking? Third of various materials, 30 of each. Oh, looks like uh, George is waking up. Welcome, George. Don't mind the big spikes. Those unboost parts, and he gets upset if you do. Yeah, these... Did I, did I select one? These things right here. Can be harvested, but reduces unboot, unboot trust. These ones over here... Do not. This is a quarry. Hmm. Watch many and do, many do not get far. Well, I don't know how far we'll get. But I see there are two main ways to play. Be nice to him or mine him like a jerk. <laughs> uh, we'll see what we what we end up doing. I don't know if these rocks... I feel like I'm either missing these or they respawn. Who knows? Maybe they respawn. I don't know. We definitely need more supplies, though. We don't have enough logs and all the rest of it, so. Oh, hold on. No, no. Get rid of that. Stop that. Stop being so silly. Probably grabbed the wrong thing. Ah, mushrooms. Can be turned into unbow food. Ready to be harvested. Oh, cool. I don't know how long they last, but. Uh, we can also farm, though. Oh, wait a second. Is that that's something I shouldn't harvest right now? Because maybe it'll grow more of a place that I can... I don't know how the onbow farming go works. Oh, there's our kitchen. Lovely. Uh, we have... We can put our kitchen right here. Because there's a little bit of space still where we could put some more planting stuff around... Farm stuff around it. Wouldn't be a bad idea, I suppose. We'll struggle through on this. That's part of the fun of these games. Is the struggle. Stores 100 water, and there's not that much in here. <clears throat> I'm wondering if maybe we should get another water thing and some more storage. Probably wouldn't hurt to to double down on the storage and maybe add another water gatherer in case we get to a place that has bad water supply. Uh, research right now. We're working on the village doctor, and then we're gonna try going to the. Oh, 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 no! There we go. Gift click to get that. Um, biomass and fertilizer. Unbo kitchen. Unbo doctor. Sleep command. I feel like we won't need to feed him as fast as we'll need to feed our own people. Tomato plantation. Ah. Learn how to grow tomatoes for farm. Tomatoes are heat resistant and grow quickly, but require lots of water. Okay, so different different uh, food groups for different things. We definitely have that scavenger hunt hut. We got to get that going next. So let's go ahead and find out where that's built. There we go. <clears throat> oh yes, these have to be built on the edges, because of course the people have to use uh, you know repel off the edge. I guess it's pretty funky. Put her over here and here. We'll take two of them. We get two batches of people going. Do we have the uh, horn yet? We do. And I think that has to be up near his head. From the basics of the tutorial told us. There we go. Yeah, just right uh, right up here. We can uh, blow the horn and give him an order. 
or request, I guess, is more accurate. Let's see about maybe making some, making paths here. Is that gonna cut the berry? It is. I'll go up this way. I'll go across like that, right to there. Lovely. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> What are you making me, Connor? You need many times, many types to keep everyone happy? What are you talking about two and three and four and five is right out. Oh, two to three scavenger huts. Yeah. place contains some fresh food for Anbo. Ah, nice, nice, nice. So he's having a little chow down dinner, and then the next thing on the road will be this. So these are, oh, that's the cold snap? Yeah, that we went through. So these are like event places. The shrine, place to hold an ancient artifacts containing forgotten knowledge. Uh, over here, settlement, one of the few <laughs> remaining settlements that has not, um, <clears> that <throat> has not been swallowed by the poisonous plants. Some villagers might want to join us on Unbo. Dep uh, depending on the village's happiness. Then over here we got a mine, some iron ore mine, another settlement. Uh, up here we have a stone quarry, over here is forest. So we can send people off, for instance, to the quarry as a party, and they can come back with some stone. Sometimes some events, more people, more friends, more ore, knowledge. Those are all the things. The knowledge is the one in the tech tree that has this little symbol on it. We need uh, knowledge points for those ones, so. Right now we are researching. Boop. Boop. He's, st he's still having a bite to eat here. Current research is 78%, but it doesn't. It's village doctor. Yes. It'd be nice if a mouse over here would tell me that I'm researching village doctor. But another air well going on, uh, going in. I want these to be prioritized next, and then the kitchen. <clears throat> Those are. Priority one, two, and three, so we can adjust. We can scale things, say do this, then do this, then do this. Like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As the population goes up, they demand more food types and better houses. Okay. Uh, what's going on here? Storage is full. They, what? Oh, the storage, the local storage in this thing is full and people haven't moved stuff. We're probably pretty uh, spent on, yeah. Uh, four, uh, 14 employed, two unemployed, general workers, four. So these guys are set to general. There's only two of them. <clears throat> general worker. So we could search them up to, like, for instance, carrier, for, in for instance. We would, they, those two people in there would run around and make sure things get shuffled between locations. I think we'll leave them on general worker and then think about where our population's targeting. We've got a surplus of food now, finally. That's great. I'm going to go ahead and drop uh, two people off the farm spot and one off the berry. Free up some staff. These things don't take any work. This is a worker spot. If it's general workers, I could probably max that out. It's probably a reasonable idea. Five general workers, two unemployed. Okay. Bring the speed up, shall we? Uh, I think there's a worker's hut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it going. There we go. We're about to get new people. That's excellent. Uh, our things down here, now that we're on this space, is under construction, showing that we're building the scavenger hut. Which is cool. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Ker plunk, ker plunk, ker plunk. Encounter a small group of nomads looking for a new home. A little icon up here. We gotta react to it in a certain amount of time. Pick them up. Sometimes there's good and bad events associated with them. Some of them will not be healthy. Oh, there's only two of them. Yikes, that wasn't very much. That's a little lackluster. All right, well, this is what it is, I suppose. We do have a, still have surplus housing, sort of. We should probably build a road along here. Connect that stuff.
What are you guys missing? Oh, wood planks and stone slabs. Right. Forgot we don't actually have the ability to work those. Okay, hold on. Um, do a carpenter's hut and a stone cutter. Okay, so before those actually go in, we won't be able to get those built at all until we get this and this ready. And of course, stuff's being delivered. Stuff's sitting all over the place. I didn't, didn't clue in. Welcome back, Mr. Connor. What did you make for me for supper? In the beginning, you need the population the most. Yeah, Stig, you had this one, right? Did you have access to this game in early access? In pre-release? It is now very much off. I know I caught the conversation before, but it was with the little one that uh, we evacuated his bowels again. <laughs> he pooped. Um, this is this is out of NDA. The NDA was only till the tenth, and I didn't get a chance to stream since then. Probably, I don't think I've even been on. Like I barely got a couple videos done recently. Beta both open and closed. Okay, so you got some. You got some skin in the game, brother. It was you that suggested this, right? And I, uh, I messaged the developers, and they were, like, eager to get us a copy to showcase it, so. All right, so roads are going in here. That's good. All right, humble kitchen. Um, we're going to go with, like, the plantation stuff. Oh, hold on. So all this stuff... Oh, stone roads, huh? Um... Move faster on stone roads. Warehouse? No, no, I think maybe we'll go down the, the line to get some, some of this stuff done while we wait for these to get built. We need more wood? Are we out entirely? We're always out of wood, it seems. Okay. Uh, not great. Go ahead with a big harvest here again. Oh, no, we're not. We have lots of wood that we could be harvesting. Let's bring a priority task onto a big harvest here. Not a lot of people to do the job, but at least we'll have the some work done there. Southern-style chicken tenders. Mmm, yummy. So Janaea, my wife, has been, um, has begun, uh, a process of doing the carnivore diet stuff for medical reasons, um, which, blah, 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 short and long of it, I get more bacon and steak, which to me is fantastic. So, um, enjoying food lately, even more. <laughs> Yeah, Steg, you're not wrong. You learn a lot. All of these sort of city builder games, I feel like you you really learn by by experience and failing. So he passed another uh, crossroads here. Oh no, is this a toxic zone? I don't know what this is, but that's definitely poison. Uh, we're not done on the scavenger huts yet. I'm taking way too long to do this. All of this, I'm forgetting the sequence. So they don't have the food water stored yet. Why is that? Just nobody doing the work, maybe? There are no unemployed idle workers. Apparently we have nine general workers? I don't know what that means. How do we have nine general workers when we only have five people here? The unemployed maybe count as general workers? Yeah, because one just went from unemployed to employed. There's another one, so that total general workers counts the unemployed and those employed at the work post. Okay. So now these have one person each in them. Once they get their resource, their raw resource inputted, they will then process that into uh, uh, into a finished good. We got 36 logs now, so we're getting somewhere there. Kitchen's still not being made, but again, that's wood planks and stone slabs, which I was forgetting. Also, don't need to say southern style, you can just same made properly they're the same thing <laughs> uh, nice 
Got an email from the devs. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, you sent me the screenshot. Um, a weird screenshot. It's like, do you know of any content creators that uh, would like to showcase this game? Please contact them. That's a smart way to get the word out. Because, I mean, you've already played it. Obviously thought it was good enough to pay, stay playing. And, uh, and pass the word on to those. Everybody's got their... Well, most people, I think, have their, their content creators that they enjoy watching. Oh, there we go. At 86%, Onbo's just like, forget it, I'm passing out right here. Not waiting for a nice new spot. Is this, uh, oh yeah, medium toxicity. Ground toxicity is medium. If Onbo is standing, air toxicity would be would apply currently none. Oh, he's currently laying down in the toxic light ground. So he's going to gain some toxicity. Are we going to have poison happening on the surface? I know you can get like toxic outbursts where you have to like go and purge the destroy the plants and stuff destroy the things that prop up oh there we go planks and slabs getting put in place we are still hyper low on people we only got the one uh the one little encampment action and that was two people first time i did well the only time the tutorial i did for like a couple hours of play we ran through two different uh Two different groups of nomads, and I think we are two or three of them. Oh my goodness, we got a cold snap coming up again. Ugh. At least if one of these gets built, we can start gaining some new settlers. That's the way I think we're going to most likely gain a lot of our settlers, is like from these villages. Maybe not the ruined settlements, but the actual settlements themselves. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I haven't bought it yet. First day in a week you've been on YouTube. Well, first this is the first day I've streamed in longer than that, so I feel you, man. I'm I'm working like a madman. I started a new another new uh, job, well, new uh, client today, and they happen to be um, uh, they happen to be a it, it's a you know um, senior lady who lives in a home and she's there all day, so I don't want to be there at nine o'clock still working. So it kind of is an, a lovely excuse to not be working super late. Yeah, I'm curious if there's a way to find really, if there's any really good spots. We can have 49 there, 40, 49 without breaking anything. Yeah. Not quite enough coverage to get bigger proximity. Oh, 54, if I go up there. That'll remove one. Hmm. Not urgent. We have the food. We don't have the pe- Well, we don't have any, actually have the food. We're losing food here a little bit. Once the kitchen is ready, we'll get more, but... Do we do- We'll do another farmer instead of another berry worker. We gotta get this, uh, this last 24 hours number into a positive. Even a small positive would be nice. We're running real low on food. It's all raw food, though, so the kitchen will help the most. One of these ready is what we need. That's it. That's all that we need to kind of step in. La 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 la. <laughs> Got her. Glad you saw the light, Connor. <laughs> Southern style. Southern style chicken. What is this at? What is this in indication here? Workers poisoned. Oh no! Unbo, can you get moving, dude? You're poisoning us. Our people are getting poisoned from your ground poisoning. Wakey wakey, buddy. Look at him. There you go. He's getting up now. He's 8% poisoning. So the toxicity should dissipate. There we go. No poison anymore, because uh, if he was on the ground, he'd get in poison. He's not anymore. So that's nice. Thanks for moving, friend. Now he's going to move straight into a cold snap, which is not ideal. But at least he's finished sleeping, so he's not going to stop and have a nap in the middle of the cold snap, which he did in my tutorial play. Passed out right in the middle of it. Work's been hectic for you. That's yeah, pretty rough when you end up. Uh... Well, I guess, I guess. Oh, there we go. There we go. First expedition. All right, let's go to the map. 
Expedition ready. Not enough workers. Okay, well, that's not ideal. Oh, we just need to wait for them, eh? Uh, hiring worker. We need two people. Not enough workers available. Okay, let's drop one uh, from this shop, and then that should put them over there. Lovely. Uh, we're now in the cold snap. All right. That was quick. I'm going to go ahead and select this and send the party. It's one day to get there. Uh, but I definitely want that gathered before you know, before we miss that opportunity. I don't know that we'll get to the next one. But this is to get more people, right? Forming the expedition party. See if we can see them hop off the edge. Do they actually jump over the edge? I don't think so. No. No, they don't. That's too bad. I would like to see them though, repel down the edge. So now they're over here scavenging. So this bar has to fill before this village disappears off the map or we lose the, the opportunity to, get, to gather it. So had a couple of move stores. Had a couple move stores slash quit. Uh, so short on people. So many hours everyone for everyone but can say, okay, yeah. Mm. Lo lovely wine, but freezing people. These are not good combination. Okay, we have the Unbow Doctor and an Unbow Kitchen option. I think we'll go with the Kitchen. We could do others, but that's just giving us a kind of... Choose one of these, because you haven't you haven't queued something up. How are we doing for storage? 100 there, 91 there, 6 there, and 0 there. So these guys are now getting things transferred. That's good. How are we on lumber supply? Oh, we only see that when we're in close, eh? So we're right out of berries. That's not great. <clears throat> we just have no population available to do the jobs. We're short on people for that. Yeah, I can't I can't add another one right now. Our food supply is going up. Mildly. Alright. Awaiting a decision. Settlement turns out to be a market of slave traders. Their leader greets you and tries to work out a deal. Uh, we have to free the people. Someone should distract the traders while the others find a way to free the slaves. Uh, if we had herb, we could spell, sell the herb. Uh, we have to free them, but don't want to risk uh, escalation. It would free when we buy them out. Okay. Or trading with slave owners is a way of supporting them. Let us leave. Um, all right. Well, we're going we're gonna to try to uh, distract them. Plan worked, and the freed people decided to join the city, but some of them are weak and sick. We have three, po four poison and three healthy. We didn't build a doctor. Oh, bugger. We didn't build a doctor. There we go. Village doctor. Oh, we probably need an herbalist to gather, like, basic herbs for him to function, don't we? Well, that's unfortunate. Throw this down here. Right here. Not ideal. I talked about it, but I did not get the doctor. I don't think I don't know if the doctor can function without it. But let's see if we can try at least. Let's put the doctor there. You have enough coverage here, I think that'll be fine. Let's prioritize this guy. We have nothing else set to highest priority right now, so it's going to need wood planks and stone slabs, which we don't have any of those stored. Not ideal. We do have more people, though, so let's do that. Let's up these numbers. And there, we need more food supply, possibly. No, we're still good on the food supply. How are we doing getting through the cold snap? We got a turn happening here. What's this? Oh, it's a... Heat wave. Okay, that's the desert. If I if I can, please uh, tell him to turn left. How do we do that? Uh, let's pause for a second. Oh, hornblower. What? Oh, hornblower is under construction. Oops. Never did finish that thing. <laughs> All right. We're not gonna get it finished in time to divert him. No, no chance. Roll the dice, guys. Uh, the gatherers need green fields to work, and medicine ground does not produce. Oh, um, wait a second. Uh, yeah, the red doesn't produce, right? But the white does. Am I getting that correctly? 
So I was planning to just use this space. Maybe that's too little? No plots assigned, right. I'm, I'm thinking we, we grow here. That, that was the thought. Maybe we get rid of those ones. I don't know. Those count as viable, but this red doesn't. And just remember, someone saying the doctor is important. <laughs> I remembered that too when some sick people arrived. <laughs> Many of our villagers are poisoned. In fact, uh, poisoned villagers are causing a productivity drop of 1%. Three of our 25 are poisoned. We don't have housing for everybody. That's unfortunate now. I'm doing great here, guys. I'm doing amazing. There, we're going to cram some huts in here. But the priority has to be on the doctor still. All right, we got our first herbalist in. That was quick. Did not expect him to get going. So there's the poison people. It's a little icon over their head. Hmm, this wine is lovely. Uh, I'm going to slow down for a second. Here, go to uh, slow speed. I'll be back with you in about 40 seconds. Back, let's go with the Onmo feeding trebuchet. So the food that we possibly could maybe make goes to him. Yes, um, okay, this is the mushrooms and they, like you said, need this brown turf. Let's go ahead and utilize that. Yeah, I think maybe here is okay. I don't know. Do that and then the Onmo, the kitchen uh, could go in the in the green space there probably that like that idea uh we still haven't gotten this thing finished but that's wood planks we need we're a little short on a oh, worker poisoned not not good badly poisoned we're gonna lose some people here doc's not even getting a hint of priority why did that oh it was set as the high one i didn't realize that was still set at high priority i thought this one was the only one i thought this was set at medium priority Oh, well, that's why all the supplies went there. Coming up on the desert? Yes, I think I remember seeing that. Oh, no, no, we turned. Oh, Unbo, you beautiful beast. George, you're amazing. Uh, okay, we have... Do you have any parties ready? Send a party. I gotta start remembering to do these things, obviously. Send them off to scavenge that beast. The not enough workers for the other one. Okay, let's get that sorted now that it's got its staffing. Uh, what can we reduce to make that available? Um, how's our food supplies? Still growing nicely. We could drop... Oh! Noisy fella! He's having a nice nap. Good. Nap here for a while. It's a safe, beautiful, peaceful place. Enjoy your long nap. It's actually cold. It's weird if we went from a, we'll go from a cold, long bit journey through a cold biome and then, uh, uh, 
um, and then straight to a uh, bad situation. Do we have, we don't have any plagues. Are you gonna drop one of each of these workers off here? To make some availability here, we'll add, and we don't have any space to add one. We'll add one more into the, the food production. Okay, fully staffed, let's go back out to the map. This is not slow paced. Uh, since we're stopped here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to that mine back there. Since he's stationary for a while, that'll give us a bit of time, hopefully enough time to get, uh, yeah, he's got a decent amount of sleep still, right? 22% sleepiness. 43% hunger. Hmm. Um, the trebuchet is being researched, so we're not ready there yet. We have no knowledge points achieve, achieve from uh, locations yet. We'll have to get those. I guess we missed that other... No, the other one was a village spot, right? Population. We'll have to mine all these, quarry this, get the stone, some stuff up there, another quarry back there. Scavenging's begun on this one, but it'll be a while. I think a full day. Which is fine. We got time. I think you need to grow herbs for the doctor. Not sure if the doctors do that. No, the doctor does not do the herbs. The herbalist does the herbing. And then the doctor does the healing. I think we're going to lose those people if we haven't already. Mm -hmm. Four badly poisoned and three poisoned. All right, let's bring speed up a little bit. Work's going into the mushrooms there. We need this though. Wakey, wakey, big boy. Wakey, wakey. Uh, scavenging party has brought back seven iron ore. Lovely. That one's scavenging, but he's up, so he probably failed that one. Pretty sure we're gonna fail that one. There's a village over here. We're gonna go to that one first with the peoples. Yeah, we're probably going to fail that scavenge. I don't think it'll finish in time. Oh well, it was worth a try. Housing will fix itself, I see. People get uh, pushed off the side when poisoned? Do they really? Wait, what? Yeah, we're losing our poison, people. Unfortunate. Succumb to poison, succumb to poison, succumb to poison. Those are the badly poisoned ones we haven't been able to fix because they we because they got behind on our productivity of the techie stuff. There we go. We got the mushroom farmer ready here. Can go ahead and get him uh, growing some lovely shroom space for George here. We'll get a little nice little spot in there too. Mm-hmm. A bit of that and that and that. It's lovely for now. Good a bit of harvesting here. A little low on the logging. So we cleared out a big space around this and it's not yet... Oh, it's still growing, okay. Not yet done its thing. Go here and just do trees, please. All of those. Lovely. No priority on them. It'll happen when it happens. Planks are a big deal, aren't they? We're still short on some stone slabs there. Oh, we lost the staff, huh? Drop the workers. Full staff required. Oh, man. Oh, hello. A light thunderstorm is moving through there. That's terrible. Oh, expedition. Nomads! We've encountered a small group of nomads looking for a place. Yes, please come on in. Two of them, and they're healthy. Works for me. Nomads? This. Weird, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening there, but... Uh, a poison forest. <clears throat> no idea what we might find. I, we might find poison. That'd be my guess. Let's send a party off uh, this way. We could give them an order to turn there if we get the... horn blower on. It's not online yet. These things aren't ready yet, because again, they need planks and slabs. We need a lot of... A lot of stone. We're making the slabs and we're making the planks, just not fast enough. We got our doctor online. That's good. Hopefully we'll save a few of those poison folk. Another event. Some more settlers. Yes, let's pick them up. 
um, hungry and healthy. I'm fine with that. We can feed them. We have 51 food and slightly growing. Not very much, but slightly growing. Let's bump the priority up on the kitchen. That's going to help uh, us stretch our food out quite substantially. Need the next research after the doctor hut. So uh, what do we need that for? Next research after the doctor hut. Uh, decontamination. Fights the spread of toxic plants using bio... Oh, yes. Let's do that. Oh, we need biodiesel and gas, though, right? So we need to get... Oh, there's the trebuchet. That's for when we make the food, we can throw it to our friend to eat it. Which is awesome. Where are we going to place that? Right there? Sure. Makes sense to me. Scavenging party's return with 10 wood. Wonderful. Uh, another scavenging party, please. Let's go for these mines here and here. Now, I don't know if we're going to turn, so I should actually went down there, but... If we turn north, we'll head through desert. We turn this way, we'll head through desert. So either way, we're going to hit some desert territory. Now, the, these world maps are, are randomly generated, so we have no idea what sort of sequence we're going to go through. Mm. That was a very large glass of wine. Once they change scavengers, as long as you sent them, they will come back no matter what. Oh! Uh, okay. I did not know that slide. You've been lucky so far that you've not been invaded by spores. Yeah, well, that we haven't, we haven't, we went, turned the other direction. Like, there's this thing over here. We didn't go through one of those. It was some of those on, like, roads when I first uh, played. What is this? Is this a... Can I go to, like, ex send an expedition after that, or what? Because this is a mobile group. Which is weird. Okay, so we turned this way. He's going to get to feed. That's awesome. That's very lucky. Okay, I'm glad he went. He might not be lucky at all. He might just like, hey, this is the way I go because, you know, because I'm hungry. Scavenging party's ready. Let's go ahead after that one. Oh, there's another village down there. Should have went to that first. Oh, well. The young boy's eating. Excellent. Gobble up, buddy. Fill that tummy of yours. 32%. 20. Oh, it wasn't that much food, huh? Only got him to 28%. Well, at least we're growing some mushrooms. We're still in a cold environment. That might be hindering our production. All right, here we go. Kitchen is ready. I'm going to say we drop one worker off here. And how many do we have in there? And one worker off the mushrooms. And we'll go with, uh, what do we got? Berries? No, we got beets. So let's go to the beet soup. Unfortunately, you need a kitchen for each type of food. You can't run them simultaneously. Not enough workers available? Eh, yeah, well. At least we'll be feeding, feeding them. So we're minus 10 on the food right now. But, so how, this is how this thing works. It takes in three beets and outputs five beet. What happened? Hornblower constructed! Nice. Okay, let's select the hornblower and see our interaction options. We can speed down here. Uh, nothing. Hmm? 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 No worker inside the hornblower. Okay. Well, he's he's in the right place anyways. He's gonna have himself a nice little sleepy nap. Well, he does. We're gonna send out uh, gathering parties probably down there to get more people. 28 people, actually, at the moment. I bet you we have nowhere near enough housing for said 28 people, do we? Nope, we haven't even touched these houses. Okay. Planks and slabs. We still don't have any in stock. Good night, George. You're a little noisy, but we'll forgive you. All right, I'm going to drop the number of doctors. Save on some staffing there. We have one herbalist and one doctor it seems to be enough for us right now. Put this guy to work over here to get the kitchen going. So yeah, like I was saying, three beet produces five beet soup. And it seems like any meal counts for food. For oh, it's arid. We're in an arid environment here. Uh, what does that do for us? Dung collector would be a great idea. Let's do that. Oh, it looks like his poison level sustains itself. Just stays there, huh? 
He never loses the poison that he collects as he goes. Oh, we got a new, uh, new mother tree. Oh, no, we don't. That's not a new one. This is, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's good. Planks and slabs. I think we'll go ahead and get some more housing, though, because we got some issues with housing. Let's at least put two of these on as priority. To get us the uh, things sorted there. Now, is this affecting, is this aridness affecting our farm? There you go. Torrid and freezing. Huh. Okay, how about the berries? Do we show any indication that they are affected by the weather? Doesn't seem to be. It's hot, but that's not telling me anything about that. It's hot and arid. Yeah. Oh, we got a heat wave in the middle there, too. Scavengering is going to be... Done there. Good. Uh, do we need sand? Probably not. Let's go get in stone. What do we get? 12 stone brought back. Well, that's hardly a little lackluster, but it's it's stone that we don't have to take off the back of our unboat, which is good. Ba -ba 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 -ba. They wander on a set path. If you cross them, reach the road they join. Okay. They just use more water for the plants in an arid environment. That makes sense. And are we actually using... Yeah, we are indeed using up our stored water fairly aggressively. Okay. How about our food? Not at all. We don't have any food storage issues, that's for sure. We're still not quite making enough. The 28 population. Zero idle people. Everyone's employed. Can't really do anything with the stuff we've got, so... We have no interactions because why? No worker, right. Hmm. What do's we do about that? I don't want to drop the researchers. We're losing food too fast here. Well, I'm gonna have to drop our population. Oh, there's, there's one we can get rid of. Okay. What's up, buddy? Giving your party? Back with some iron? Ooh, what's the oasis? Oasis with fresh water. Imagine they'll bring fresh water back, probably. No poisoning going on. The air is arid, so we're not probably not producing a lot of water. We're definitely dropping our water supply. I'm glad I upgraded the number of uh, water storage places we had. Do 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 do. Here's our event we we're waiting for. Go ahead and pick up the friends. Hungry and healthy, we got five new people. That's pretty important. That's pretty powerful. Now, again, we need to uh, deal with these, but I think we're... There we are. Well, first one's in place. This opens up six villager slots. That'll be pretty important. All right, another event. Some more nomads again. Excellent. What do we got here? Three more healthy. Oh, I'm loving this. 36 people, but their happiness is going to be a little trashed, actually. Uh, we have um, 20 housing. The productivity due to housing quality is dropping their effectiveness by 15%. That's pretty bad. Villagers' needs have upgraded? What do you mean needs have upgraded? Where's their needs? I don't see the villagers' needs listing as a thing. Oh my goodness, we're out of food. 
Oh my, what the heck? We just started seriously hemorrhaging food. Okay, bring those numbers up then. Uh, we're gonna need another, another, uh, berry farm here. There we go. Prioritize that to get a little more food in here and oh we have yeah nothing right so they can't do squat with the kitchen because of course the, the, the chefs are all standing out outside the door waiting for food to be produced and I think people are immediately eating the raw food oh this is bad so we have no food supply but the kitchen can turn three beets into five meals but everybody's grabbing the beets and the berries and eating them raw because they're so hungry Oops. Well, that's... That's a good way to get yourself dead. And we're going into a heat wave. Oh, boy. I think the end is coming, yeah. Uh, we can tell him to run. That's probably a good idea when we get into the heat wave. Okay, 22 more hours. Can I tell him to run? Run, buddy. He accepted the order. All right, he runs. Man, he really looks like he's running. <laughs> Berry gathers ready. Okay. A little more there, please. Where can we siphon off an employee? <laughs> gotta feed the people. So doing all these other things is... Oh, there we go. We got one more, one new housing. That's positive. Housing quality, 32 of 72 win is 9% productivity. Okay, food variety needs. There's the new thing that they're talking about. One person starving, one hungry. Oof. <laughs> You're not wrong, Sly. Chaos. Exactly. Welcome to the chaos. Alright, we got a lot of farm fields here. Why are you guys doing nothing? No space for planting. No, he's doing both. He's doing planting and harvesting. Okay. When the when the food's available, I suppose. Well, 26 housing of 36. Our kitchen's doing nothing. Our people are starving. This is not ideal. This is less than ideal indeed. Uh, hold on. Um, compost heap, or uh, let's go compost heap for now. That'll let us actually build the fertilizer. Now we need to do... Refining, no, store. there it is, the dung collector. This goes on the tail end. The derriere. Of the the beautiful beast, Put it there I guess is fine. There you go. Not too shabby. All right, next in the research tree, these all need stuff. Decontamination. We got huts. Did we get warehouses? Good. All right, resources, let's see. We need a knowledge point. The compost heap and then that, and then that, and that. It, I mean, you really need the knowledge point. So let's look at the map and see if there's anything shrine-like that we can gather from. There, scavenging there already. Oh, this might be good. Didn't notice that one. Once this one finishes, we'll send him off to that. Are you, is he still running? I mean, he's not running. He is still running. How do I indicate? How do I know that? Other than his BPM. Please, please, please start walking, dude. Doesn't trust my command. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. He's exhausted. Look at him. His tongue's hanging out. He's so tired. 
we do need more people. I know that's like seems counterintuitive, but if we can get through the over the food hump, we'll be okay. Good, we got that going on. Uh, another food supply. We don't have enough space for planting, so let's add more plots here. Like that. Uh, and on the other side of the fields. Okay, that's good. Wait. Give him a giant place to harvest from. See what? It, see how that does. Give him lots of place to plant from. Uh, cancel that. Cut. No, hold on. Cancel. What do we? How do we cancel? Cancel those two spots there. Good. Let that tree stay. Is this thing now reproduction? Ten percent. Okay. Oh, there's a tree. Not great, but the tree. Oh boy, boys. He's in trouble. Still not producing anything, eh? Low productivity. Well, we're not producing nothing. Close. We're down to 70 water. Why do we have 164 water stored? But Oh yeah, we got some... Okay, I see. The air wells themselves have some water in them. Okay, fair enough. Makes the sense. We got hungry people running to grab all the raw food, so nothing's making it into the market. Or into the kitchen, rather. Yikes. I can't prioritize the building, eh? Wait, it's four, five, and six are the map pieces. All right. Uh, hold. You're saying if I send a person off to this, it will get there, even though the location is... Um, even though the location will be off the map before they get done the job. Okay. Hut constructed. Nice. Unbo sitting. Uh, star has starved to death. Hey, it's a it's a bit of a tough life up here. <laughs> oh man, constantly out of food, but I can't get food to the kitchen. All right, what if we uh, add somebody in there? Where's our Staffing. Do we have actually idle? Yeah, we have unemployed and idle workers. Uh, okay, in that case, we do have logs and we have stones, so let's go ahead and bump these population up. That's already full. You're on an expedition. Staff, full staff required. You have full staff. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's try one of these oases out. Because we... Oh. Already available. Huh? Hmm. It says full staff required, but they're both there. I can see where that worker is. I can see where that worker is. Yeah. Are you on your way there? Okay, he just hasn't arrived at his job site yet. Probably his predecessor died off of hunger. I don't know. Yeah, this is rough trying to get this food here. I wonder if the berries are just having a horrible time growing. It requires water, yeah. And we're running through water crazy fast. Okay. Well, the expedition to the water site, the oasis might help. Oh, we didn't send one. Still over here. Unfortunate. Probably a third uh, expedition site would be useful if I had the staffing for it. Do we have the staffing for it? Sure we do. Okay. Maybe that's worth doing. Then we can have more collection being being happening. Being happening? Being doing going? Make that one. We'll leave that one as a low priority. Anbu is hungry, but not dying of hunger yet. Good. Good to hear, Sly. Come on, dudes. Clearing space. The planters planting. Just, dude, like, nothing is getting here. Is there no way to tell them don't eat the beets? I think this isn't, thing isn't producing much at all. Very, very little. 
That's bad news. Ominous slave traders. Well, again. Oh, man. Okay, we don't need the new population. We are desperately low on water, so we're gonna uh, decline this event. Just can't afford to. Head back empty-handed. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, Oasis, please. Send the party. That's, that's too bad that we failed to get useful things out of that, but that's all right. <clears throat> Beets do not grow in desert? Oh. Well, that's, that'd be nice to know. Very nice to know. Why are we not... Oh, we could do cactus? Oh, let's, do, let's go to cactus, because it requires nothing. Are you going to plant a cactus here immediately? Yeah, cactus is growing. Okay, well that's something. I don't know if cactus produces much, but... Does it produce food? Uh... Things point to gray. Uh-huh. That's bad, I presume. It has to be in a green tile in order to... Okay, that's cool. 100% growth. 0% growth. Oh, I didn't notice that. Okay. Well, it's a decent spot for corn. If it was over here, it'd be okay as well, eh? I see. What's the production food-wise of uh, corn versus um, cactus? Let's pause for a second. Think growth. Is there information about the cactus? No. Is that in the tech tree, maybe? Um. Okay. Learn how to grow cacti at your farm. Cacti are an alternative water. Are an alternative water source in hot climates. Oh. Okay. The corn it is. All right. Cacti is a water source. All right. There we go. Gotcha. Check the kitchen. So I can switch this to berry. Oh, hello. Corn. Three to make three of these. Oh, really? Increased food quality made from corn. The berry. Let's put the berry thing on. I mean, we've got one beet sitting here, but we'll put the berries on. At least we're making berries at this point. I don't think it'll, I think it'll be a while before we get... I didn't... Yeah. Learning curve. Painful one. Uh, we gotta be moving near the edge of a desert, right? Yeah. We're almost out of this terrible, terrible situation. Averaging hunt hut is under construction. Not actually being constructed at all right now. Aha! Sits right, Boucher! Uh, okay, I need to disable this building for now. We don't have mushrooms being... Uh, mushroom kitchen. Oh, wait. You fire just like mushroom? No interaction. All umbo feeding uh, feeders are disabled. Okay, hold on. So, enable that. Staff is there. Go here. Show interactions. Umbo food. Um, constipator and laxative. Decrease his digestive digestion speed. Making it defecate less often. Weird. Launch Unbo food with a trebuchet. Increases his trust in you and decreases his hunger. I like that idea. Feed the little guy. Feed little George. Feed him well. Oh, there's some berries that have arrived. We're actually cooking our first berry, Musili. Nice. Alright. How are the slab production and log production going? Basically non-existent. Alright, I see. Uh, Research-wise, we're waiting on... What? Is there anything else we can research that does not actually require those research things? Compost heap, bile extractor? Ooh. Terrible idea. Horrible sounding idea. Um... 
I mean, we can do the Unbow Doctor. Do 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 do. Wait. Current sawmill. Oh. Switch there. Because we're not actually researching it all that time. So we had four staff doing nothing and being unproductive because the research is waiting for a knowledge point, which we don't get unless we can look here and find one. We have available workers. You can go there. You can go there. Well, maybe we'll try to catch that if we can. It's not vitally urgent. Oh, the scavenging is nice when it's so close. Deepers. All right, we brought back 42 water. Oh, ho, ho. saving grace indeed. Okay, we're now into a better zone. Let's see about changing up the food production. So let the cactus obviously wane now. Corn is in the gray now, okay. Beets are in the green, so switch back to beets, okay. I see. This is uh, decomposition. Hmm. There you go, you're gathering from this one. Collected. Nice, more water. Okay, we're doing okay there. The, the change in the uh, humidity is really going to help a lot. Uh, we have an available. Under construction still, huh? What are we waiting on? Wood planks and slabs? Yeah, both of those buildings working at pretty full out there. Oh, we got the mushroom farmer do uh, the kitchen going. I'm gonna drop that to one. We're gonna up the mushroom farming. It takes 20 mushrooms to produce one of the food. Okay. Event available. The excavation site. What appeared to be a quarry turns out to be an unbow extraction site. Unbo excavation site filled with the petrified bones of a giant. This looks like a perfect spot for scavenging some rare resources. Or, we have to be careful. A dead unbo is often a sign of spreading spores. Let's keep our distance. There are probably spores here. We'll grab some stones and leave. Scavenging. I know it's probably the risky one. Chaos. Worker got poisoned. One worker poisoned and four 15 stone slabs? Head to the doctor, buddy. I'm okay with that loss. <laughs> Your risk is was totally worth it. 15 slabs is amazing. Let's see about getting another... Um, well, how's our, worker, how's our plank production going? We have 49 logs. I think maybe we either need a new carpenter or second carpenter. I don't know. Hold on. Let's go back to the map for a minute here. Uh, we have a, what do we have? Poison spot there. Uh, let's grab these trees for now. Um. Oh, we have a ready scavenger. And there. Excellent. Lovely. Oh, how's our food, uh, water supply? Are we starting to fill it up at all? What's this guy's problem? Storage is full. Can we move some of that stuff? I think we need another uh, working post. Oh, we have no unemployed. Five idle employed workers. Ah, sawmill. Do we have research points? We have one knowledge point. Okay. So what do we do with said most important first knowledge point? Okay. The Unbow, we could give him a sleeping command. Mm, pet the Unbow. Aww. That's cute. Crochet. Food liquefier. The feeding pump? Ooh. That sounds pleasant. Uh, I think the sawmill might be a great idea. Head down this way to the tree nursery? Yeah, let's do that. Don't mind if I do. Normal, humid, oh. The air toxicity is low here. 
More nomads? We can pick them up now. One healthy and three poisoned. Oof. Yeah, air toxicity is going to be a little concerning. Do we have the ability to deal with the poison? Here, decontamination facility. Yes. Okay, let's think about that. Near the doctor? Sounds like a wise choice. Let's make that priorities before we get poison. And we're still not... We're still in the... In the vague idea of getting around to producing some... Uh... Just fixing, you know, being able to fix that issue. Got to be able to remove the toxins from the space. Uh, yeah, I'll well, we'll do all of it, actually. Lots of work to be done there. I'm going to go ahead and build another working camp here. We don't have any idle. Well, we do. We have two idle people right now, but... That'll give us a future option for sure. All right, how are we doing on expeditions? Send a party there. Oh, I can see a little bit of a shrine there. That's great. A knowledge point would be wonderful. Oh, is this another cold spot? Oh, and this is desert. Jeepers. I don't know which we want to go to. And it's getting pretty brutal. All right. Maybe we'll let him decide what our fate is going to be. Uh, we do have one of these available, right? Show interactions. Feed him. Is it happening? Preparing. Full staff required. There he goes. It's a trebuchet worker. Uh, housing quality is crap, food quality is okay, food variety is okay. Let's see what he does. Farewell, friends. Oh, look at it! <laughs> um, num, num, num. <laughs> Fantastic. That's awesome. <laughs> That's... That's just great. Uh, his hunger is at 36%. There we go. See if we fire another one. Not yet. Okay, so we have to manual that, eh? Okay. 44 population, 7 of them. Oh, okay. Now let's say that this one goes straight to, uh... Just carriers. The other one is general workers, but let's have a couple that are just doing carrying. Seems reasonable. At 30, what's he at? 17% food. I'm okay with, like, very minimum on, minimal on the food production. We're two planks away from finishing that up. That's great. Is that somebody poisoned? Bad housing quality. Yeah, we got to get that next. This one gets its wood planks and then another. Huh? Hmm. That and then the housing. So... High priority, higher priority, and highest priority. Gotcha. Thought that's what I was saying. I just figured a better check because in case the bottom one is like reduce below other priorities. But I think it's not the case. I think it's higher than other priorities. Looks like we have an available uh, expedition. Go ahead over here. I can't send a crew to the no. Fine. Good, good. Super fantastic. Awesome. So yes, thank you uh, for those of you who are joining, or uh, joined since uh, I last mentioned it. Uh, make sure you uh, say hello or something in the comments so your name is put into the draw for the giveaway. I love the little, the animations and this and everything. It's just amazing. So these, it seems, hold 30 of each item. So we're we're short on the stone stockpile. 
but I'm not sure that we need to, oh, I just, no, no, it isn't. I just, I thought for a second there that we were cutting off the supply to that. No, we're, we're good. Sawmill and then, yeah, I'd love to go with tree nursery and then a quarry. Gathering saplings from near my mother trees without damaging them. The more mother trees surrounding the building, the more efficient it is. Plants trees using tree saplings and chops them to make wood. Lots of these placed on grass soil. Okay, so this is a four lawn torso. Okay. Is there an icon indicating his his trust level with us? The Avengers have arrived home. He's yawning. What you have a little snooze, dude? Another hopeful tech point up there. Lumber being delivered. Decontamination unit is constructed. Um, I'm gonna say we go over here because we're going ish away that way. I really wish he would nap before going into the cold zone, but I don't think he's going to do that. And that means we have to change our plants, too. Um, it's going to get colder. So we have nothing that we can use. Really? No, beets, beets do okay in the cold. That's what it is. Beats are fine in the cold. Okay. We're doing the berry production. We can switch this to beet soup now. Probably we better have two kitchens with like two people working in the meat. Oh, having a snooze in. Oh, he stopped before he got to the cold. Oh, you're wonderful. Right on the edge of the cold weather. Look at that. There's the ice there snowing. He's just outside of it. We can see the snowy storm off in the distance. That's great. 36 days in. How did we survive this long? Just found you because of this game. Very enjoyable. Happy smiles. Hey! Dar Dharma. Thank you, thank you. Dharma264. Thanks for coming. Uh, can you make him stop walking? If we have the commands, yes. And I don't think we've unlocked said command. So let's show the interactions that he can do. We oh yes, we can tell him to lay down. He's already laying down, but we could have told him. Good call. Ooh, except for he's now sitting on highly toxic ground. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, well, I'm not sure the which which is worse. Hmm. Gavenging party returned with a berry. I mean a berry, a knowledge. That's awesome. Let's uh where are we gonna hit? Um right here? No, let's go here for now, because we're real darn close. Many of the villagers are poisoned now. Oh boy. Eleven poisoned. Oh goodness gracious, that's not very good to tell, is it? Do we have out outbreaks here yet? Ah, uh, decontamination center, good. We need to start doctoring a little a little more. There's the decontaminator. Nice. Okay, we got another hut in. That's great. We're two planks from finishing the an, yet another hut. Uh, housing is 38. We'll actually hit full when that gets built. So, what I'm going to do is actually disassemble that and that. I'll replace those. The same? Badly poisoned. Yeah, well, I'm... I mean, I got the doctor open for business. Sort of. Reduce a carrier. We're losing people to poison yet or not? I've already got 25% poison in the unbow. Need more doctors. Indeed we do. Oh yeah, there's... Spore cloud sliding through behind us. That's not great. I can get him to move if we need to. I think I want to wait to get him to run. I don't think that's going to hit us. 
Looks like we might be past it. If I'm mistaken, we're going to be spammed by nasty poisons all over the place. Where are you going, decontaminator dude? Alright, just don't, don't light any terrible fires or anything. There we go. We now have technically enough housing. I'm going to tear down technically enough housing and then uh, replace it. That one built next. Uh, so it's humid. Storage is full, but it's not being transferred. Carriers, please. Switch them all to carriers. Nobody's going to be gathering. Hmm. Not enough employees there. Not enough employees there. Not enough employees there. These guys are what? Poisoned? Badly poisoned? Oh boy. I don't think any of this work is going to be done at the moment until the... Uh, Um, not gonna be done until we oh, if we have our carrier done. Like some somebody is being a bit of moving stuff. Let's drop our decontaminators to one. Maybe that'll shuffle somebody up into the doctoring job. Hmm. Oh, we're making the beets into beet soup. So, we just still have 10 in inventory. Once this runs out, then we can switch the berries. That is substantial improvement in our food supply. From, you know, an hour ago. <laughs> uh, expedition is running. Go, oh, you're scavenging there. Send somebody off there, and send somebody off there. Scavenged. Yeah, this is where having the extra, extra workers is not helping. But we are, you know, desperately short on workers, so this one is. You're currently scavenging. This one is going to be disabled. Okay, so only one scavenging job currently active. Sure, we'll unlock new things shortly. Just keep an eye on that, though. Ground toxicity is high. He's now at 33% poisoned. Oh, dude, you need to wake up pretty soon. I don't want you to run into the cold, but I don't want you to poison yourself. Hey, right, let's let's get him up. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I'm just concerned you're getting a little sick there, laying down in bed. Okay. Hmm. This farm seems to be doing a little better now. What do you think? Should we put in another kitchen? Where could I put it that would be practical? Hmm. We're just gonna stuff it right in there. It's super ugly and probably weird, but it is what it is. So we're now in, uh, end effect growth of crops, 2, 2 days, 17 hours. Okay. Probably not, because he's going to have a sleep, too. We'll wake him through that sleep and keep the cold, uh, or keep him rolling past all that. Oh, there we go. There's another knowledge point available, hopefully. 
Over here, I thought it was a thing. I'm really curious to find this, what's there, but... Go to the mine instead, okay, good. Okay. So I'm only barely tapping the surface, touching the surface, tapping the surface. I'm only... I'm only, uh... Scratching the surface is the word I'm looking for, of what's available and what can be done generally in the game. So, um, there's definitely a lot more to it. Unbow Doctor, yes. Well, that's cool. I just realized what that was. That's a hot air balloon. Fantastic. Wait, why am I... Oh, like I just said, it's a hot air balloon. Really doesn't... Probably doesn't matter where it's uh, where it's situated. Hey. Okay. What are we doing here? Place is affected by poison. Looks uncomfortable for him to sleep in. Is he gonna sleep anyways? Hmm. Let's see if they can we can keep this housing growth going. That's good. Looks like we keep we tend to be a bit ahead on the slabs. these guys back to general workers 44 employees we need more than that indeed he's sitting what's up dude he's sleeping now tree nursery research is completed okay um Does this mean that it needs three knowledge to pass that one? That seems a little exorbitantly high. An iron furnace, laboratories, jeepers. Feeding like crap. Gotcha. Understood. Horrible. I'm gonna take that off the list because I don't have that many knowledge points. May as well get that. food stand here we could get. Oops. Which is that? Heading is the heading the dude is the idea I wanted. Uh did I just wreck a research that was active? Oh crap. Better stop pulling behind. Hey. Let's see. You guys are still trekking away. Making a decent supply of stuff. We're out of, uh, feet. Aside from what's in the building here. This is one done. I'm gonna search the berry. Resources do you need? Oh, biogas. Right, this thing is getting ready. Oh, there it goes. George starting to get up. Day 40. Connor! All hail the Unboo. I hope this offering pleases him. 
Thank you so much for your support, Connor. Connor donates. Oh, 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 oh. 67, 61. Oh my goodness, man. The conversion, the inflation has ruined your perfect number. <laughs> uh, he was giving 100, and that's 100 Australian. And he was, the excuse was previously, what was it? Because it came out. Came out as $60, $69. There's new hut in place. Excellent. So we now have surplus housing, and housing quality is actually getting up there. Food quality is a little low, food variety is a little low, but each of these meaning our total productivity is positive at 118%. <laughs> no. You'll have to do the do the conversion and switch it to uh, some other slight variant next time. <laughs> That's ridiculously kind, sir. I really do appreciate it. Averaging, we got some stone we can get. Oh, what's this? Hasty looking stones? Oh. <laughs> Alright, we'll see if we can convince him to not go down that path. Okay. You need to give it a little bit of a jog, buddy. Get out of this cold snap, will you? Hustle, little man. Uh, we got food? We do. He has to be either laying down or walking. I think that's what it's saying. Okay. Are we past the cold snap? Oh, we're real past the cold snap. Jeepers, that does not take long. Uh, walk, dude. Excellent. He accepted our command and begins to walk. There's some more friends to join us. Two of them are poisoned. Two of them are healthy. All right. Let's go ahead and give uh, Unbo some food. Your interactions. How do I do this? Is there a controls? How do I indicate which way I want you to? Aha! Do we want to go north? I think so. He doesn't trust our command, so three minutes again before we can give him another order. Well, that's unfortunate. Or at least that order. Are we able to give him a uh, lay down command? Yeah, is the, what's the toxicity here? Oh, oh there goes the, there goes the uh, toss of the food. That's awesome. 30 seconds before we can give that command again. Yeah, we're not going to be able to tell him. He's going to come over here and he's going to get constipated. Poor little guy. Poor little fellow. Mm, come on, buddy. Go north. Go north. Go north. He really wants to. He really wants to go to that food. Not surprising. Looks, looks like giant mushrooms. Fifty seconds. Are we gonna get a chance? I don't know. I don't know. Do we have a resource? Oh, we have the sawmill. We do indeed. Excellent. There you go. Make that happen. Mr. Unbo, can you go? You went north. Oh, he just fit. He was pretending not to listen. Deep down inside, he knows he knows it was the right thing to do. Uh, we got 48 population. We do have three unemployed right now. So I'm going to go ahead and undisable that. Is that totally a word? Hmm. 
Now, what's this food situation? 22. Another event. Alright. Getting the population up there. 53, that might be too many. 52, whatever, that might be too many, but I'm not sure. Housing is 58. I'm going to go ahead and disable that. And that. That. And that. That'll drop us to 52, 52. Oh, cancel that. Hold on. I will not. Too far down the line. Storage is full. Yeah, not enough moving of people. Now we should have the surplus population deal with that. What's our food situation? Still in the positive. Research is happening. The air is finally cleared up again. Okay. Our Umbo doctor is still quite a ways from being done. Oh, it's nappy nap time. Nice, beautiful sleeping spot in a healthy space. A little cold, but uh, not not end of Z world type cold. Sitting down, having a good snooze. Excellent. Send another party over here. Never did send a party there. I want to send a party to the expedition. That poison thing. I don't know what it's gonna do, but I I've got to try at least once, right? Right? No. Okay, fine. My bad. Clearly, it was probably a bad idea, but we have a decontaminator who's bored. Not done a thing yet. Let's shut him off. Maybe we need to. We need to up the mushroom production a little. Oh no, it's freezing. That's why it's not working. So having more mushroom farmers isn't going to do the job. Alright, that's berry, and we'll put this one to beet. Now we got two food types coming in here. Okay. Um. Like this. Up and walking again. Oh, scavenger's return brought back 15 mushrooms. Well, that's something. Settlement? Hmm. Uh, what do we need more, though? Mine or port? Let's go to the mine. Go this one up here first. I want to see what this does, but. This is probably going to give us lumber. Uh, this one, I have no idea what it's going to do other than possibly poison us all. And this one, uh, and the one up, other one up there is um, uh, a an actual like ore mine. So maybe that'll be good. Ore cloud. We're not going to cross that, are we? Hope not. We can probably tell them to sit down if we feel like it's getting too close. More wood returned. Good. And another party out before we find out what the first result of that other expedition was. That's not a smart idea, but you know. I'm not always the smartest guy in the, the neighborhood, am I? Alright, we're building that. Is there a composter? I guess we could put in a warehouse. Maybe. Okay. Ah, tree nursery. Yes, 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 right. Um... Where do we want it now? The tree nursery is the one that gathers from those things, isn't it? Yes. Oh, 84%, huh? 100% efficiency. Well, that sounds like a good spot. 
Sounds like a great idea. Okay, here we go. This is the sawmill. Now, does this reduce the number? Oh, it does. You can eventually burn that number out. Okay. All right. And then it really boils down to, do we have surplus population to be attaching to something like that? Right now, the answer is probably a definitive no. All right. Well, uh, I've been running the midnight oil for weeks here, so I'm and I'm getting quite close to uh, burning out here, uh, energy-wise. So I'm gonna uh, give you. We're gonna give it another five minutes, and uh, before um, I make the call on the draw, if you have not, if you're watching, and you have not already. Before the timer goes off, a bit get yourself in the comment section so that we can uh, um, so we can get you in the draw. You only have to be in the comment section of this video at some point. You don't have to be uh, um, heavily involved, but there is a draw for giveaway for the game, uh, courtesy of the developers who gave me a key to give away to you guys. So not done yet, James. But good night if you're headed off. You waking up, big guy? Oh, no, you stopped for dinner. Good, 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 good. I like that. A little bit of free mun mun num nums for you. Uh, scavenging. Party's return. They brought back 12 wood, but two got poisoned by this. Oh, yeah. Okay, not ideal. Not ideal. Brought back some iron ore. Another expedition over there. And Bo begins to walk again. Population is currently maxed housing. Go ahead and prioritize one of those as well. Just one, get it done earlier than the others so we can get it started. Warehouse is not a high priority at all. Now, does this produce directly compost? No, it's dung. Wait, was there a... Ah, compost heap. Okay. There we go. Also something I want done. I want to be able to make compost, and hopefully that'll produce a notable increase to their food productivity. So again, we're coming to the end of the stream here. A little earlier than I would normally end the streams if I'm not uh, borderline passing out. We need full staffing here, huh? Okay, more, uh, more herbs. Well. It's two employees. You could add a third in there, I suppose. Toxic cloud full of dangerous spores temporarily decrease tox increase toxicity levels and spawn poisonous plants on Unbo's back. Alright. Alright, decontaminators. Let's get you guys rolling here. Get to work, people. The spore, nasty spores. Okay, here we go. These are plants that are now poisoned, which means we need to harvest them like yesterday. Now, is that an actual cloud we're walking through? It's a mobile cloud. It just came right through us. Unfortunate. Oh, and then we're probably going to walk into that one, too. Yikes. Did I miss the giveaway? Nope, nope. Nope, we're just about to do the, uh, just about to do the giveaway. And dead meat, if your name's pulled, I will redraw. Very candy, thank you. If you have the game already. Oh man, if he was laying down, he'd be in extreme, very high toxicity. If you have the game already, please decline if you get your name drawn. Because that would just seem appropriate. Wait a second. Did the road just get ripped apart by plants spawning in it? 
Ooh, that's awkward. So we have to del eliminate all of these. Otherwise, they'll just keep being issues, right? There. There. Do not want our fields infested here. What's going on, guys? Um... Okay. All right, it's gonna it's gonna be a mess here. Poison air increased toxicity. Yeah, that's harsh. All right. If you don't have your name in already, please type it in immediately. We're, I'm setting up this draw, so it'll be a matter of if you get uh, if you get to it in the time that it takes us to do the me to set the draw. So let's uh, watch Unbo do his thing for a moment. Can't play it even if you get your name. Okay, all right on. So, you don't have to be currently in the chat, I suppose, but uh, we may get somebody we have to track down, and if that's the case, I will simply go through and uh, uh, can try again. If that makes sense. Alright, gotta find out how to get the URL properly here. And we're in cold weather, went through a giant toxic storm. Uh, see if we've got everything harvested here. See, yeah, they'll reproduce to these spots. Okay, let's make these priority. We need this done over everything else because if we don't get rid of it, they'll just keep, they'll, they'll spew all more spores all over the place. Incinerating. Oh no. This thing doesn't make biogas. How do we make biogas? Oh my goodness, we're in trouble. Uses fertilizer or biogas. Okay, so I need to finish this thing. Moving plant three. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, let's uh, let that keep happening and try to get this ready to go. Uh, no duplicates, please. has comments disabled video doesn't have comments disabled currently commenting <laughs> they're right here people okay I might need to do the draw after we're done uh, need a decontaminator game over man game over this thing right here needs to be built Um, yes, yeah, composter. Uses fertilizer or biogas. Uses fuel by decontaminators. We have all the decontaminators, but nothing for them to do. Need this built. Go to builders, see if that works. Got some things removed, I guess. All right, quarry next. We do have a, a research available, so let's do that.
Game over, man. Game over. The guys of Burden don't make it. Uh, well, they do from compost. They need the compost building first, though. Let's throw the replacement roads that got damaged in here. What was that? Did he just cough? Did, did dude just cough? Oh no, he got shaken around by the windstorm. Well, that's unfortunate. Probably got some things damaged too in the process. Send off the parties to do their expeditions. There, there, and up here, I suppose. Okay. Go to Unbow View for a second here. His food's okay. He's getting a little sleepy. He's quite poisoned. But I think we might be able to do something about that now. Interactions. Oh, we, we can pet him. That's something. I'll go over there and make him feel a little happier about life. Oh, the herbalist got wrecked. Look at that. That was from the storm, and we lost a berry bush. Needs repairing. These guys remove plants and reason. Really? Why is that not happening? Like, what, what's here? Piece of stone sitting in there that we're having trouble getting to? Oh, and both berry gatherers got wrecked. And the poison's ground is spreading. Look at it. Oh no! Oh! Oh, the terrible, terrible situation. Oh, all our all our things got wrecked too. Oh my goodness, so much from that windstorm. So much damage from it. You are out of berries, are you? Now well, you can make some beets, I suppose. Food supplies are dwindling, probably because all the berries are gone. Oh, that chaos, that chaos, and it's just kind of beautiful. It's, um, what's going on, you know, things happen. Oh, what's up, buddy? What's up? Is that you burping or something? Waiting a decision. I'm gonna pick up more people. Healthy and hungry. Need more bodies to work, that's for sure. They're doing builder focus there. You know what? I'm gonna go with um general I don't think harvesters can take care of this, can they? Or harvested. Oh it can. Okay, hold on. Let's put this to harvesters. Maybe they can fight it that way. Straight up to harvesters, all all y'all. We have zero idle workers and everybody harvestery. So maybe there you go. Look, dropping down. There we go. That's some of the work. Okay, they are they auto removing this? No, eh? Harvest all. Okay, that's not gonna help, honestly, because. I'm gonna need to have the builders to repair. Oh my god, our houses were all wrecked. Didn't even notice that. Oh boy. Somebody has finally stepped over here to get the stuff off of here. That that entire time was not happening because there was three stones sitting on the road on the pile. Oh my goodness. Well the bear, first berry farm's back online. Second berry farm's back online. Sawmill's still not back up. Farms are semi-productive again. that and this needs to be harvested with a priority order because I think that's a bad idea to have those things blowing out straight in the middle of our fields. We have some serious poison problems up here in the trees. And a windstorm. Oh boy. How close to being able to finish this will we be? Not. We need 10 more planks. We have them, they're just not getting there yet. Need all those builders. Tree nursery's a thing, that's nice. Get tree saplings.
This gives us the biofuel for the burner dude right here to run around and torch everything that's damaged, which he's super fast at. That was fun while it lasted. You pet him, remember? Yes, we did. Oh, that's what that effect, sound effect was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. There we go. Is he hungry? He's not. Well, at least he... Oh, he's going through the heat area. Well, at least he's not going through that cold wave. Oh, well. I mean, that's small consolation, if any. Uh, let's uh, grab some sand. Uh, oh no, no party bill. Just about. Just about. Awaiting a decision for the iron. Okay. Sounds from deep below before even taking a step into the mine. Splatters on the wall and shouts from within imply that a tragic incident has taken place. A mine. They call it a mine. Yeah, exactly. Um, there might be people in need. Let's hurry up and check the situation. Let's hide behind the rock and wait. We'll sneak in when it's safer. Or no way this will end well. I think we take the middle of the road here. Uh, when scavengers enter the mine, uh... Its interior resembled a battlefield. The only thing that you can hear is what sounds like snoring from deep within. They grab a few resources and escape before whatever curse this returns. Well, there you go. 20 iron ore. Not too shabby. Send off that expedition party. All right. So we're, our big issue is the poison and the this guy right here. We really, really need that done. So... Uh, but uh, I think we'll uh, we'll have to take care of that next time if we get a chance to do another stream this week I think that would be a lovely option. I'd like to give it just a few minutes to get this guy a chance to, to torch some stuff Because he's awesome when he does. Oh No, what did we just get hit with? Oh Another wind thing and we're moving into the desert. Oh Goodness gracious Hi, Drake. You got no water. I am desperately low water because all these were gone and now we're hitting the desert. Oh, you're right. I think we might have made some... Hmm... Hmm... Small... Small tactical... Misfortunes. Oh, everything's just falling apart. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, we're gonna end it there. Thank you, everybody, so much. For joining me, uh, you know, we'll save it here as a, a save. Sure. Save it here is a good try, anyways. First time tactical problems? Yes, indeed. So that is our first look at the Wandering Village. When this video ends, I will uh, run the draw. And uh, please do uh, get in our comments here. I will try to. Um, I'll try to let whoever it is know, and you you will in order to collect, you're going to need to contact me on our Discord. The link is in the description down below. Uh, please uh, do take a time if you're interested at all in the game to at least wishlist it over on Steam. I believe that link for the game Steam page is also in the link down below, and the descriptions rather down below. Dharma, welcome to the clan. Thanks for joining us, friend. Lots of other content available on the channel. Might be find find something of interest. So, yeah. So contact me over on Discord if uh, uh, if it's if the game is of interest to you, and uh, and if it's uh, if you get a win, that's where I will be contacting you. So, ah, uh, well, our first attempt was not exactly great. I do hope I get another chance to look at this one again. I also want to get some more time on uh, Old World because I'm uh, missing that game. So, But thanks, everybody, uh, a bazillion. A bazinga bazillion for uh, joining us. For uh, but thanks, everybody. Oh, uh, oh, stop. Stop duplicating yourself, Drake. Uh, for joining us for the live stream tonight. A lot of fun. Good to see everybody again. Thank you so much, Connor, for your uh, not quite $69 donation. 
you're fantastic. Your support is never endingly awesome. And um, thanks for being part of the first 10,000 members of the uh, subscribers of the channel. Uh, Clan Folk update as well. Yes, it did. There's so much fun going on. So much work to do out of the house. I need to be even more. I need to get even more growth happening here so that I can spend time, more time enjoying the channel and building the channel with y'all. <laughs> Silly bills I have to pay. Thanks, everybody. Have yourselves a great rest of the day. Do hit the like button on your way out so people uh, that haven't seen the game yet can find it easier on the YouTubes. Have a great day, and we will see you in game. Yes, Sly, that is the case. I will be contacting people there. Uh, yeah, the right next time. <laughs> let me let me take five seconds here to try it again. Maybe it was just a weird sort of an error with the uh, stuff. Let me try this again. Maybe that's better. Maybe I had the URL slightly wrong or something. No, it says video comments are disabled. Oh, hold on. No. Just uh, taking, trying, trying to get this thing to do its its proper proper thing. It seems to not want to cooperate. So man. Alright, I think I'm gonna have to end the the live stream in order to get the raffle to work, so probably the case. Okay. Well thanks everybody. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of the day. That's where we'll end things for the night. I really do appreciate you all being here. Have a great evening. Keep having some fun, guys. See you in game. <laughs>